Activate your personal shield and get your trade level to three because it's time for the Star Wars Battlefront Podcast. With Battlefront 2 right around the corner, there is still time to speculate about heroes we want. I'm Sam from the Star Wars Battlefront Podcast going over five heroes we would like to see in Battlefront 2. Without further ado, let's get started. All wings, let's give them everything we've got! Number five, Ahsoka Tano. I was kind of hesitant about this possibility of them adding Ahsoka, and it didn't even cross my mind until EA Play that she was an option. It was when I was talking to Dennis Brandball when it struck me. He asked me what hero slash villain I would like to see. When I gave my answer, he said, why not Ahsoka? Then my mind opened to all the possibilities of the Clone Wars TV show, and Ahsoka is definitely one of the foremost characters. She would be a strong addition to the cast, and in the seasons we want in Battlefront 2 video, I speculated a season which she could be in. Ahsoka is a strong Jedi slash Padawan, in both Rebels and Clone Wars, and I think she would make a great addition to the game. Number 4, Poe Dameron. Okay, we know he will be in the game as a ship, which I think confirms him in the game. But nothing is in the game until one of the dev slash producer slash creators say they are. I know he would be a good addition just for the fact that sequel trilogy needs to have a good amount of content. His abilities could be focused on the skies with maybe calling in strafe runs. Only time will tell. But you can't have a complete roster of sequel trilogy characters without Poe. Number 3, Captain Rex slash Commander Cody. And I don't care which one of these make it in if any. I would just like to see a high ranking clone in the game playable. And when you look at it, Captain Rex and Commander Cody are both strong troops. Rex dual wielding the DC-17 blaster pistols, he would be a formidable foe. Cody on the other hand has a jetpack and phase 2 armor which would be cool to see in the game. If these two aren't playable I think you should at least be able to spawn as guards with these two. Maybe prequel Obi-Wan could have Cody and Rex as bodyguards. Number 2, Mace Windu. Mace Windu is a fan favorite and would be a nice addition to the game. Not only would he be another lightsaber wielder which the game needs, he would also in general be a solid hero for the prequel era. I know they will have a lot of prequel era content not just because it is so requested, but as well as the amount of the heroes available. So much possibility. Mace Windu is a strong Jedi and I think that will manifest well within the game. Number 1, Obi-Wan Kenobi. I was really disappointed in Battlefront 2015 when they didn't add Obi-Wan. It would have been a perfect addition for the Death Star DLC. But the good thing about that is they could have multiple skins for Obi-Wan through the eras. I'm 99% sure he will be in the game. If they don't, so many fans will not only be dissatisfied, but also mildly angry. Kenobi could have so many different abilities, and he is such an iconic hero. I would love to see him in the game. Do you agree with this list? If not, type in the comments who you would like to see. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, we have more. And if more isn't enough, you can listen to our podcast, which is on SoundCloud, Stitcher, Google Play, iTunes, and even on this channel. Well, anyways, may the Force be with you.